Hello, this is Mr. Stahl, and this video is to help you create the bar graph that you're going to need to make for question number one of the data analysis and discussion questions. What you need to do is insert a bar graph comparing the appendage of each type of bean dipper versus the round number. So this video will work you through all the steps you need in order to make this bar graph. First thing you need to do is open the data. The link to the Google Sheet for the data is included right here, uh, just above um, where we're looking. Um, I've got it open right here. And when you look through, you'll see it's collecting all the data that you entered in the Google Form during the lab, from the round number to the number of beans, so on and so forth. We are interested in the Summary tab down here. And that's going to bring us to a different sheet that has counting the number of each appendage at the start of each round. For example, at round one, there were two strawses, two knifuses, and two forkuses. So um, that this is the data that we need in order to make the bar graph for number one. So I'm going to select the data that I need and highlight it. Now I've only selected from rounds one through five, and I'm not taking the data for the participants. I've only taken the number of strawses, knifuses, and forkuses. Notice I have not selected any of these cells down here because there's no data there. There's nothing to count. Uh, perhaps uh, when you're making this bar graph, you might have data up to round 9 or maybe even round 11, but you don't want to include the entire table if there isn't data there. So I'm only taking round from the top left through the round that I have data in. So I'm not taking past round 5 for this example. Now I'm going to create my graph. I have two options. I can insert chart from the menu or I can go over here to the menu bar and click insert chart. Either way, it still brings you to the chart editor. So first thing you want to do is click this option right here, use column A as labels. And what that does is puts the rounds down here, so round one, two, three, four, five, and leaves the number of each appendage as the data inside the chart. Now I don't want the stacked area chart I want this option, which, look, which Google calls a column chart, but we know it as a bar graph. So I'm going to select that. And you'll notice that the vertical axis here has some funky numbers, and I will show you how to fix that in a second. The next step is come over to Customize at the top, click on that, and that brings up the customization options. First thing is the title. Uh, since uh, the convention here is to label all charts and graphs as a figure, uh, since this is the first figure, I'm going to call it Figure 1 and then give it a title. Starting number of bean dippers per round. And then I can click somewhere else and it updates the title. Next thing I want to adjust are the labels of the axes. So I'm going to scroll down until I find the axes menu. And right now I'm going to adjust the horizontal axis title. So let's get rid of that. This is the round number, and then I can use the drop-down menu to select the left vertical axis and change this to bean, number of bean dippers. Now, the way to change these non-whole numbers to whole numbers is right here under min, you want to enter zero, and then click somewhere, and you can see that that changes the vertical axis just to whole numbers and that makes this whole graph a lot easier to read. Once you've done that you can click insert and it will place your graph inside the spreadsheet and you are most of the way done all you need to do now is insert this into your document so you can click the arrow here and that opens up this menu and you want to click copy chart and then go back to your document click where you want to insert the chart, paste it in, so I'm using control V, and there it is. So that is how to make the bar graph for the first question in the data analysis and discussion questions.